Stella, everyone wants to meet Fred. They've, they've met you so many times, and they love you so very much, but they were really open to hang out with that guy. Now, do you know what these are? Do you know what this means? Do you know what I'm headed to do next? Lester's working on a project today and I'm working on a project today. His first project was clearing leaves from the yard. Look how beautiful it looks. Uh, except for, they're all on the front doorstep now of the greenhouse. So I've got the blower charging, which is fine. I didn't want him to blow it towards the greenhouse and have all of the extra stuff end up in the greenhouse or or in my plants. Not that the, the leaves matter. The leaves are a great compost and I'll probably use some for that as well. But I just didn't want to have to like extra clean out the greenhouse because I just got done cleaning out the greenhouse. Anyway, someone sent me a present a few weeks ago and I've been so busy that I've not been able to put it to use. So today, someone special has come to the greenhouse. That's correct. We are going to give someone a new home and introduce someone else to someone. Okay, I know you know everyone. Meet Fred. Fred doesn't have any clothes on yet though. So we gotta work on that and we got a couple of new outfits that were sent. So, uh, we're going to get Fred dressed and Fred is going to meet Frida. Yep. It's that day. Come on. Plus Frida's still wearing her Thanksgiving gear and Fred isn't interested in a pilgrim these days. He's like, listen, it's cute, but I have to dress her up appropriately for the season and y'all are coming along with me. So come on. Let's get going. Frida. Sister, Thanksgiving is over. That's right. So your little pilgrimage is coming to an end. But your pearls will stay. Okay? So we're going to We're gonna undress my goose and we're not gonna look from here. We're only gonna show them from here up, sweetie. Don't worry. We will keep you modest. Also, don't worry, I'm standing right in between her and Fred so that Fred can't see what's going on. And you guessed it right. Tis the season to be jolly. Oh, Frida, you're going to look so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. You ever seen a porch goose sport pearl so beautifully? And her little hand warmer, wing warmer, whatever you want to call it. I didn't know that the wings could meet there, Frida. But to top it off. <laughs> Mrs. Claus has glasses. <laughs> This is the greatest thing ever. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait. Nope. The glasses have to go above your face there, sweetheart. The thing is, is that she still only has one eye. Some of you sent some eyes and they were a little too, they're a little big. Look at how cute you look. <laughs> okay. I've lost my ever loving mind. The problem is, is that... What are you doing, Millie? Fred is behind. Uh-oh, it's serious. It's so serious. I wonder what they're going after. Uh, Fred is behind me and he is sporting his... Wow! Wow-wee! Fred is sporting his birthday suit. And um, Frida just... She's not into that. She is like, listen, I, I want to get to know you. I want you to like me for me. I don't want to. She is a classy lady. So we're going to class up Fred before we introduce them. That's for sure. <sighs> Let me get to work on that. Stella, everyone wants to meet Fred. They've, they've met you so many times and they love you so very much, but they were really open to hang out with that guy. You think that's possible? She's like, listen. It's my day. It's my day to hang out in the greenhouse with Mama. And all I want is to be in a video and to show how beautiful I am. Everyone knows already. Okay. It's time for them to meet Fred. Yeah. There he is. Look.
look at his handsome self, his little bow tie. <clears throat> so while Fred realizes it is December, Fred has a limited closet and Fred by no means is implying anything with that lay at all. He is simply just stating that he's a friendly guy and that he doesn't have to celebrate a holiday specifically and that his favorite holiday by far is just sunshine and vacation. So he's going to maintain his composure with clothes on, Fred, with clothes on. And uh, he's just going to hang out here and be a Southern gentleman and really try. Oh boy. Oh boy, there's trouble. <laughs> He's going to really try to win her over with his wittiness and his charm instead of trying to be all matchy-matchy with her. Hey, no, no, that, that is Frida's hat. You can't have it. Anyway, y'all, this is Fred. And this is Frida. And they're going to be my porch geese. And thank you to whoever sent them. <laughs> Yes, it is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. So, uh, up north, people have been decorating their porch geese. And theirs are, I think, made of plaster or concrete. Mine are not. Mine are plastic. And... <laughs> That's ridiculous. Frida is uh, a long time, a long time resident here. And Fred... <laughs> Fred's a newcomer and he's going to try to win her over. In the meantime, I'm going to get some real work done. Excuse me. Christmas, don't touch my lemon. It's almost ready. Look, it's getting there. It's so close. It's the one fruit, the one citrus fruit that I got besides my calamandrins this year. And uh, it's going to freeze tonight. So I have a lot of work to do today in bringing all of these plants inside the greenhouse. Uh, I have to cover everything that is outside. And as beautiful as it looks right now, it does not, it's not going to be that beautiful this evening. So we are going to get our butt started on the real work. No judging, Fred. And I trust you that you will guard the greenhouse appropriately and have no funny business that happens please and thanks well let's get going on the real work the greenhouse got a little crowded today but it's gonna be okay the porch is cleaned off and it's a good thing that geese like the cold both fred and frida enjoy the cold but all of our geese at the sanctuary also enjoy the cool, not freezing cold for long times, but they do enjoy cool weather. So it's gonna be a good day. Now, do you know what these are? Do you know what this means? Do you know what I'm headed to do next? Come on, we ain't done. We ain't anywhere near done. Okay, Sadie. We got all of the front plants into the shop. So we're ready from that standpoint. The last thing that I have to do, oh, and I covered any trees that still had leaves on them. So the last thing to do will be cover the garden later, cover that elephant ear out there cause it's in the ground and then cover these beds. Very simple for us to do. The hardest part, is this beast right here and it takes two ladders and a whole lot of whole lot of patience so that will be later whenever the sun goes down I want it to absorb as much sun as possible today because it didn't get any yesterday and take in as much heat as possible and then uh I also am battling the wind and hoping that by the time the evening has started that the wind will die down because the cold front will be here instead of blowing in, which is happening right now. And uh, we're gonna try to save the papaya. Oh, Stella and Mabel playing. Stella is her mother. That's all I can say. Stella doesn't want her, she looks trying to get her to go back in the house. She's like, we're not playing outside right now. This is, we're not, this is not an outside time. There's something else together. 
anyway, thanks for joining me on this frost prep and for uh, meeting Fred and accommodating my silliness with my porch geese. I love y'all.